Hello, my name is Jake Hall, and this is Lab 2 of Grand Valley State University's EGR 345 class. Uh, for the first week, what we had is a, uh, we created our own uh, autonomous robot that navigates through a unknown room and path, and it uses several features. It uses an ultrasonic sensor to detect the walls and avoid them. It uses a couple of continuous servo motors for the, uh, the wheels and the motion of the vehicle. And then also we have a heat sensor in the front to detect the fire. And then finally a sound pal on the side to uh, let us know and put off the siren when it detected that. Uh, we added a few new things this week. First of all is we added um, two RF chips. One is the transmitter and one is the receiver. The transmitter sends a signal from when we want the, uh, the robot to start, and then the receiver will constantly wait for that signal, and once it receives it, the robot will then go off in that room and find the fire. We also added a OLED display on the side here, so that displays not only uh, the name of the firefighter, but will eventually have the ability to constantly be displaying the temperature that's in that room, reading from our heat sensor. And then finally is we're using a, uh, a pink's, uh, pink inter, uh, internet parallax net burner, and what that does is it will allow any user from anywhere over the web to automatically turn on uh, the robot and search for a fire. So this can be used in applications for um, home safety, uh, where you also can have on uh, not only heat sensors but also carbon dioxide sensors to find out carbon monoxide sensors to find out where uh, all the toxins are coming from. So what we'll do is we'll initially start up our code, uh, download that into. Uh, our robot here, and we are going to be just waiting eventually for the code to start. We will uh, then plug in. This is our transmitter, and then over the line it will communicate um, through that, and then it will send out a signal uh, telling our robot then to start. So this will be the normal one, as you'll see in the video above, where it can navigate that maze and eventually find that heat source. Thanks.